So this is the Super Electric Football Model 103 from the Electric Game Company, Holyoke, Massachusetts. It is by Jim Prentice. I got this at uh, kind of a garage sale. B bought it in a lot. I'm probably into it for about uh, five or six bucks. These switches were like, I thought these were fantastic. It's kind of like driving a tr mini train or something like that. Uh, when I press certain buttons, it does vibe. Something is missing, a play rotor. I have this tiny hope that somehow it got jammed under here. This is lifted up here, and I think it's just warped though. So, so I have gotten it to light up, though I don't understand what it's telling me. So I have this set up to offense, defense. I have this over here to end, and this is to lateral. So if I press this and this at the same time, the word run and kick off, it just beeps. If I do run back, it just beeps. But if I do charge and run, that lights up. See that light there? And if I go to tackle here, you can see actually the red light lighting up. And now it's red and white. A slightly different result. This is on offense and this is on offense. And if I press charge here with this and off and this run, I get that lit up. Slide this to end. Those light up. Slide this to tackle. Those two light up. Guard. And center. So somebody smarter than me could potentially figure it out. I just am not sure what's going on. But it basically works. So there are some screws on the end. So I'm going to open those up and see what I can figure out. Four screws are out. And now it's the moment of truth. Probably should have done the other side. Uh, there's like a transformer. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Wow. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. That is it. Okay, so that's good. That has got to be from here. Again, I, I'll figure out how it goes in. But that's good. Let's see what else is in here. And I think I will try to slide this board out. So I was able to slide it out, and this is what I got. Probably won't help me, but you can see that, again, this is old. There's no computerized component. This is just straight up wiring. This piece is going to go in here. So I'm going to put that back in. I'm not sure why it vibrates, but it does. So I don't see any broken connections per se. I'm going to look at this a little bit closer. So that means that probably it's working and I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oops, those are the light bulbs. Those, these are where the light bulbs are. So I have shoved that thing back in here. It's just that little wooden dowel fit in there. Hangs out like that. And now when I press the button, it doesn't do the way. Pretty well. That's surprising. So that's good. I don't think anything's disconnected. This is the only wire that kind of seems like it might be disconnected. I did test all of the light bulbs by pulling them out, and they do work. So I was able to get that thing back in there, and it works, basically. You can kind of see that it's rotating. And it stops. There's different letters, A, B, C, through E. And there's different, on the left-hand side, numbers, perhaps for the kickoff, how many yards a kickoff is, I guess. Um, and then the run back. So a bit of a close-up on the rotor. And it does end differently. You know, it certainly doesn't come back to the same thing every time. Overall, the game is in rough condition in terms of, you can see here that the, the board is uh, warped. Uh, it does have one peg, amazingly. This does work. I'm assuming you manually do that each time, something like that. Otherwise, all the switches move. Whether they're connected there or not, I cannot say. So I'm definitely not representing that this works completely. I'm just saying it does light up. This does turn. Whether it's all the connections are there, I cannot say, and I do not represent that to be the case.